What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we'll be drawing Metal Sonic from Sonic the Hedgehog. Now this character is quite interesting. It's almost like a mashup between Sonic the Hedgehog and a robot. So we're going to start in the center of our page with the upper eyelid. Start in the center with a point. And from here we're going to curve out and up towards the left. So the upper brow is going out and then just bend that back up. Let's go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. We're going to go out and bend that up towards the same height. And it will draw on the lower edge of the eye. From the outside, we're going to step in. I'm just going to curve down, round out the eye. I just want to pull that in towards the middle, but we're going to leave a gap. I'm just going to pull that down and bend that up. And let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. We're going to come down, out, and then just tuck that up underneath the eyelid. And then we'll close off the center with a curve. Starting back on the left, we're going to go up in the middle and then down on the right. Now we're going to tuck an oval underneath the eyelid for the pupils. So let's start on the left, start on the outside, go down towards the bottom, and then back up. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing, coming down, and all the way back up. Let's trace that oval along the inside. Step in, let's trace that across, do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to fill the center of the pupil and the outside of the eyes in black. Now this character has a pointed nose. We're going to start with the top edge, starting on the left of center, curve up and then down. And then from the outside, we're going to come down and in towards a center point. Come down and in, do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move out and draw the lower half of the muzzle. Starting underneath the eye on the left side, we're going to go out and bend that in, almost like a bracket. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Around and then in. Now we connect the bottom of the cheeks with a curve just coming underneath the tip of the nose. So start on the left. Down, round up the chin, and then back up on the right. Now we're gonna add a small oval for the hinge on the side of the cheeks. Let's start on the left, going all the way around. The same thing on the right. And now from here we're gonna move all the way up to the top and draw on the ears. From the top corner of the eyelid, we're gonna step up and draw a curve. Going in and up. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going out and then down just up above the corner of the eyelid. Now we're going to go back to the outside, curve out and then up towards the tip of the ear. And we'll curve in and then down towards the inside edge of the ear. And in and then bending that down. I'm going to add the inside fold of the ear. Starting back at the bottom, I'm going to go up and then bend that in. Now we want to add the outside fold of the ear. Starting from the inside point, curve up and bend that out with a short line on both sides. Now we're going to connect the outside tip towards the inside with a curve. So we're going to come straight in and bend that down. Let's draw on the top of the head, starting on the left side, just up above the ear, and curve up, and then in towards the center point, and we'll go out, and then down on the right side. Now the curve of the head is going to continue underneath the ear, so let's start on the left side, go out, and then down to right about there, do the same thing on the right, and then we'll curl the cheeks going out. Let's we'll start back on the left, just going to bend this out. And then we'll close off the bottom of the head with a curve. Start from the outside, and then bend this down and then in towards the side of the cheek. Now that we complete the head, we're going to move down and draw on the body. We're going to draw a large oval for the body tucked in underneath the head. So let's start on the left side and draw that oval. Going out, round up the bottom, and go back up and in on the right side. 
and then we'll draw a large circle in the center of the body, just underneath the chin, go all the way around toward the bottom, then back up towards the top, and then we'll draw a smaller circle in the center, and we'll fill that in black. And then we'll move down and draw on the lower torso. We're gonna start on the left side, we'll draw another half oval, coming down, and then back up. Let's move out to the side and draw two small circles tucked in beside the hips. Let's we'll start on the left side, draw that circle going around, and then just tucking that in, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. And now draw the legs coming down towards the knee. We're gonna start at the bottom of the circle, curve out, and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Let's draw the upper edge of the lower leg. Starting from the end of this line, we go up and out in a straight angle line. And then we'll go out with a short line. Now let's go back to the inside, go straight in, and we'll round this out, and then come straight down towards the ankle. Do the same thing on the right. Coming in, rounding this out, and then coming straight down towards the same height. Let's draw on the outside leg. We want to take this curve, step up, let's trace that across towards the upper leg. Let's draw a large oval on the bottom of this line for the ankle. So starting here, let's go all the way around, and then back up. And do the same thing on the right. And then from the outside of the oval, we're going to extend the line coming down towards the bottom of the foot on both sides. From the bottom, we're going to step up and draw a straight line going across just underneath that oval. Now we're going to draw the foot around that ankle. Starting at the bottom on the inside, draw a straight line coming in on both sides. And then from here, we're going to curve up and then in behind the oval on the inside. And we'll draw the outside of the foot. Starting from the bottom of this line, we're going to go out and then bend this up towards the toe. Same thing on the right. And then from the toe, we're going to curve the top of the foot going up towards the top of that oval. Go up and bend that in. Let's add some detail to the shoes. We start with a stripe, taking this curve, step up, trace that across, step up again, draw that one more time. Now we're going to extend these two lines along the ankle, going in on the top and bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting with the heel, extend this line going out and up, step up, draw that twice. Let's move back up and draw on the outside leg. Starting from the knee, curve down and then in on top of the foot. Let's draw an oval on the inside of the leg. Starting on the left, and then the right. We're also going to trace this oval on the inside of the ankle. Let's add a few lines along the upper leg. Starting at the bottom, we'll just draw the angle line coming down, step up, draw that twice, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. We're going to start with the shoulders first. Starting on the side of the body, start with a straight line going out, line this up on the right, do the same thing, go up and out towards the top, and then from here we're going to round out the bottom of the shoulder. Starting on the left, go out and bend that up. And then we're going to bend that up and in behind the head. Go up and in on both sides. Now let's draw on the upper arm. From this point, we're going to step up, draw a straight angle line going out and down, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. And then we'll draw the forearm on top of that line. From here, we're going to step down and in, curve up, and then out. And the same thing on the right. Let's thicken up the arm on the outside. We're going to step up and draw that same angle line going up in behind the shoulder. 
And then along the top, we step down, got an angle line coming down and in on both sides. Now we're going to work our way down towards the hand. Let's start from the inside of the forearm. We curve out and then down towards the wrist. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll flatten off the wrist with a straight line going out. And then we'll connect the top of the forearm to the outside of the wrist with a curve. And we'll go out and then pull that in. We're also going to add a small circle on the inside of the forearm for the hinge. Now I'm going to simplify the hand. So we start from the inside of the wrist, draw a straight line coming down, and we'll go straight out towards the outside of the hand, and then we'll curve this up and in towards the outside of the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the wrist, come down, go all the way out towards the outside, curve that up and in. And then we'll extend the fingers out on either side. We're going to start with the thumb, starting from this corner, curve in, and then down, and we'll just taper that back up in behind the hand. Let's do the same thing on the right. In and down, taper that back out. And then we'll add three fingers on either side, starting from that same corner, come down, bend that in, taper that back up, do the same thing on the right. Let's add two more fingers, starting back on the left, and down and in, back up. Let's add one more finger. All the way up towards the outside corner of the hand. Let's do the same thing on the right. And we'll separate each of the fingers in half. Starting from the outside, draw a straight line going across. Do the same thing along the inside. And then with the thumb, we'll angle up and in. Do the same thing on the right. And down an angle, separating out each finger. And that's pretty much it. There's Metal Sonic from Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.